Hey guys, Trent from Local Pest Experts. Just wanted to talk today about um, physical termite management systems or even chemically impregnated termite management systems. So if you build a house in the last five or 10 years, there's a good chance um, that your house actually has one of these physical um, termite management systems in place, whether it be Termimash or HomeGuard or the product that we use Cordon. Um, this is Cordon here. As you can see, it's made by Bayer. Um, it's Australian made product, it's quite a good product. Um, I would say almost certainly the most long-standing product on the market today. It's been around for a long, long time and a lot of testing throughout Australian conditions. So really good product um, and that's the reason that we use it. Now this foamy stuff you can see in the middle, that's actually impregnated with an insecticide. So the, the plan with that is that the termites can't make their way through this actual product. Where that comes into play is a place like this, for instance, with concrete slab flooring, termites can't make their way through the actual slab unless there's a crack um, or around these sorts of penetrations. Now you can see the top of my collar there so that you can see that that penetration has been protected to stop termites coming through that way. And then what we're left with here, once we've finished the ground level, the finishing ground level will probably be around this sort of string line height. And what that leaves is a potential entry point just here and here where there's no way that you could see entry without a termite management system in place. And that's where, where the cordon comes in. So you can see on the internal slab edge here um, where we've affixed the cordon, there will be a brick go on here um, which will cause a compression on this side and stop termites being able to sneak up that back side. And if you have a look, you can see it go through this front brick. Um, and you look closely, you can see it pops out just under these weep holes here. Now that, that area there, then the termites, if they do come in this way, they forage up and they hit the product and they can't physically penetrate that product. So if they do want to make their way into the house, they've got to come around it and they've got to expose themselves to an inspection. So very important that you get your annual termite inspections by a qualified professional inspector but in the meantime you can also if you do have a house with this sort of product in place you can go around on a regular basis say every three months or so and just check around this weep hole height um, if termites are coming through that sort of way they'll they'll leave some mudding or some sort of trace and then if there's anything to be concerned of um, that's when you can call your local pest experts to come and have a look but just going back to it, this product will be along here. We've got an engaged pier coming out here. Um, so the termites, they can't come up the back here. They've got to come around here. So again, keep a quick eye on those weep holes or that weep hole sort of height and make sure that you're keeping any dirt or obstructions away from that because that's going to um, impede the inspection of that area and eventually it will lead to failure.